Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Drive a chilly weekend. We do have changes ahead for the middle part of the upcoming week. Still watching for a potential for a coastal storm. Looks like it's going to happen, but the impacts on us still a little... Uh, uh, needs to be worked out a little bit. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar dry at the moment. Hey, right after sunset, which is in a little while, the crescent moon will be joining Venus and Mercury in the western sky. Always a cool sight to see. Threat tracker for tonight, low chance of severe weather. Same for Monday and same for Tuesday now. Most of the precipitation looks like it'll be moving in a little bit later on in the week, likely on Wednesday. Observe lows since midnight. This is the first time since February 9th that we've been down in the teens in Providence. 18 degrees was the low, 13 in Smithfield. It was pretty chilly this morning with a bit of wind. Felt even colder than that. But we had a bit of a warm up, I guess, today into the 30s. Newport, we've got sunshine. Warwick, we've got clear skies. Currently a temperature of 36 with a light wind. At Providence, Rhode Island College, right at the freezing point, 32. 34 Taunton, 34 New Bedford, westerly at 36. Clear skies across the the entire northeast big old area of high pressure centered and oh west virginia another one up in canada kind of keeping things dry for us so where is this next coastal storm it's way out in here is a piece of it that's going to be working across the country and then coming up the coastline likely beginning on tuesday and more of an impact to us perhaps on wednesday future cast for tonight and into your monday it looks quiet through 8 o'clock in the morning, right into tomorrow afternoon and evening, staying dry, dry through Tuesday night, dry through Tuesday morning. Here's that developing coastal storm by late Tuesday. Notice the precipitation not too far away. Computer models, tough to kind of tell exactly where they want to bring this storm. Uh, they might come in a couple pieces, maybe one Tuesday night late and another one on Wednesday, but it looks like most of the precipitation right now would be on Wednesday and the worst of it at the moment looks like it should remain offshore, so we may get clipped with a little bit of light snow on Wednesday. Don't let that be the last thing you hear about this forecast. It could still change a little bit, but for now, it looks like not a major hit at this point in time. Morning commute temperatures in the low 20s with sunshine, dry roadways in the afternoon. Not a big warm up tomorrow, staying in the upper 30s from westerly Narragansett, Newport, Tiverton, about 36. Chilly again in central and northern Rhode Island, Woonsocket, Johnston, West Warwick, Cranston, and Providence in the mid 30s. Southeastern Mass from Seacock all the way out to New Bedford, looking at highs around 36 degrees or so in the afternoon. Here's that live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. We are looking at sunshine for Tuesday to begin the morning and then the clouds kind of thicken up a little bit with temperatures getting up to about 40 degrees. There's that uh, weather system on Wednesday coastal storm and again the worst of it looks like it should be offshore. We're going to watch it closely though and it uh, looks like we'll see the snow develop sometime on Wednesday and continuing into early Thursday and then it's out of here. Then Friday and Saturday looking dry. Hey, guess what? We're monitoring another coast, uh, storm perhaps for late next Sunday. Come on, TJ. Nah. I'm, that's the truth. <laughs> ah, you can't sugarcoat it for us. I was just thinking in my head, well, maybe that's April Fool's Day, but it's not. That's another <laughs> week to go. Yet. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no fooling on that but one. But how many days until the start of spring? Just two, right? Two, two days. Two or three. Yeah, Tuesday. And it looks like that doesn't mean anything. Not according to Mother Nature this year. <laughs> All right, DJ, thanks. Coming up in sports on Eyewitness News at 630.